board. All right, Pam, so we'll start right away. Um, How did you become a volunteer? Well, I became a volunteer because my son was uh, one of the instigators of this program. He and Pete Istvan have, have set it up by themselves, and they decided that it was a good thing to do. And uh, because I'm David's mother, um, I was automatically included. <laughs> well, that's that's good. If you can't rely on mom, who can you, who can you rely on, exactly. right? Exactly. Exactly. So uh, when the big day comes and the big event starts up, what will you be doing? Well, um, the two moms, Pete's mother and, and David's mother, me, um, basically run the, the registration desk. So we welcome all the kids with a, and the adults with a big smile, and we, we uh, give them their numbers, and we make sure we have their cell phones so that we can, we can reach them. We know where to find them should they not uh, reappear at the end of the day. Um, and then when all of that's done, we go out to the, out to the roots, and we take our uh, supplies with us, ice cold water, freshly baked chocolate chip cookies, mm. um, Gatorade, uh, big hugs for them if they're feeling <laughs> kind of weary. And we're there to meet them as they come around the corner and stop to have a little break and probably nip off into the woods um, out of sight, usually out of sight. Um, come back, get their get their uh, their water and their Gatorade and their cookies and give them a big pat in the back and send them on their way. And then... We would, I mean, we would do that several times in the ride because the uh, the rides that I've that, uh, that my husband and I have usually taken are the long rides, the ones where they're doing a hundred kilometers that day, so they stop more than once. We drive ahead of them when we've got the tables all set up and waiting for them as they come through again. So it sounds, and what you were telling me earlier is an event like this cannot be possible without all the volunteers. Well, no event. Even I mean, do you mm-hmm. think of the thousands of people at the Olympics? They're all of all of the sporting events, all of these events have have volunteers. The really important thing about the volunteers for paddling for Parkinson's is that uh, we are uh, we are free. We don't we don't charge our children anything for baking chocolate chip cookies for them, and because the volunteers. Uh, aren't charging, they're vol- pure volunteers, it means that every penny of the donations, every dollar that people contribute goes directly to research. There's no overhead, there's no hidden cost. It, it all goes to fund research into finding a cure or finding a better way of medicating people who have Parkinson's disease. So that's absolutely huge. That's almost unique in the uh, area of fundraising for health care today. That's fantastic to hear that all of the money being raised will go directly to the research for Parkinson's disease. And I'm sure we got people listening right now, Pam, who are uh, chomping at the bit to know how to volunteer for this uh, year's event. How can you do so? The way you volunteer is to go to the, to the website, Peddling for Parkinson's, easy to find on the internet. And in that, at that website, you'll find um, an area that says a, a, a question, would you like to volunteer? And you just follow the instructions in the website and, uh, and register in that way. It's very, very easy to do. That simple. Beautiful. Well, Pam, uh, I'm going to be one of the people doing the 100 kilometers, so I'll probably need uh-huh. one of your trademark hugs well, and I trademark chocolate, like chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. I love them. Good. Love them a tremendous amount, and I'm very much looking forward to meeting you and all the other volunteers uh, come July 11th through to the 13th. So, Pam, thank you so much for talking to me today, and the day is getting closer and closer. It's getting closer. Good luck, Ted. I look forward to meeting you. Thank you so much, Pam. Okay. Bye-bye.